Hey guys, today we're going to talk about standalone data plans for the Apple Watch. This is not widely known and I want to talk to you guys about it just in case you want to do this or didn't know this at all. Now generally with the cellular Apple Watch as you know, basically when you have your iPhone you can actually add a cellular option on if your mobile provider supports it. You can actually have cellular added on, so if your phone isn't with you, you'll still have cellular data on the watch. However, the provider that I'm with doesn't support that, which is extremely frustrating and annoying. And I feel like me having an Apple Watch cellular is a waste of money because I can't use the cellular features. Until I learned, you can actually add a standalone cellular plan onto the watch. And I really tested it out. And I'm gonna say I'm disappointed with the way it works. And I wanna tell you a little bit about it just in case you wanna get started and do this. So with a cellular standalone plan, what does that mean? So basically it means you've got to set it up, when you set it up in the Watch app, you have to set it up as a family member. You can't just join a standalone plan. This is what I did originally. I joined a standalone plan online and it asked for a specific number. I'll just tell you what it's called. It's called the EID number. And basically when you sign up on this website, you knock in this number, this, and it'll be in the Watch Settings app. There's a long ass number. You paste that number into the website, pay for the service, and then the cellular add-on is available on the watch. But it only shows up on the watch if it's set up as a family member. It can't be set up as your own watch, okay? Because if you set it up as your own watch linked to your iPhone, they want you to join the cellular service from your mobile provider. However, my mobile provider doesn't support that cellular feature. So what you have to do, this is where it gets really frustrating, you have to unpair this watch from your Apple account. Then you need to repair it. And I'll show you on the screen what to do. You need to go to Apple Watch and you need to add it. But you need to add it as a family member. Then there'll be something that comes up on the screen. You wanna scan that. Once you've scanned that, it's gonna ask you for an Apple account. If you use your existing account, it ain't gonna work, okay? So it's not gonna work. And if you use any custom domains with your iCloud Plus, that's not gonna work as well. So it has to be an email, not part of your iCloud account. So a different Apple account, you can easily make one, very simple. All you'll need is an email address that's not linked to your existing Apple account and a phone number that can be linked to your Apple account because I had no issues doing it. After you do that and set it all up, wait for it to do its loading thing, updating thing, you can go to cellular and you'll see the cellular plan is called One Global. You click on that, add it, boom, you have 4G or 5G on your watch. Just, and same as on here, you'll have 4G or 5G, depending on what number you added. So we're gonna be telling you two providers that are great and highly recommend you do it. And I'll tell you the downside with it very soon. So basically, if you sign up with Better Roaming, Better Roaming is available in Australia, a bunch of countries, even the United States. However, if you're watching in, um, from America, I highly recommend checking out US Mobile. It's a little bit cheaper, it's $9.50 per month. And basically to get started with that, instead of entering your EID number, you need to enter in the IMEI number, okay? That's for American customers that join US Mobile. It's a little bit of a different setup. A little bit cheaper for you guys as well. And you can set up a standalone plan that way. Again, I'll briefly show you the website very soon for our American users. And for our global users, we'll be showing it through Better Roaming. Okay, because Better Roaming is available in lots of countries such as Australia, uh, France, UK, Poland. So many countries you can try this out from. And it's generally 10 bucks a month. So for Australia, it'll be 10.99 a month with unlimited data and you'll get your own mobile number, but the mobile number can only be used on the Apple Watch. Okay, now, where, where it gets a bit annoying, because you add in as a family member, meaning, any notifications that come through on your iPhone, you will not be able to look at on the watch. It's a separate device, okay? So it's gonna be like a separate device. You knock any notifications you get on the iPhone, you're not gonna get, okay? So that could be a frustrating thing. Important messages, iMessages, you're not gonna be able to reply to them on here. There is another way you can reply to iMessages on the watch, and this is a bit of a frustrating one, but what you have to do is you have to have a friend that has an iPhone. Get them to open up the Watch app, add it as a family friend, then you can log in with your existing Apple ID that's on your main iPhone. 
then all your iCloud messages and everything will sync over. But you're gonna have to have a friend's Apple account that's logged in. Yeah, a bit of a frustrating process, but that's the way you can get around it. Now, another thing with this, you won't be able to edit any of the watch faces on the iPhone. You have to do everything on the watch. Everything has to be done on the watch. You can change some of the settings on the iPhone, such as display, notifications, all that kind of stuff, timeout things, updates. You can do all that on the Apple Watch uh, app. However, when it comes to customization and downloading apps, you'll have to do that on device. So if that's something that's gonna frustrate the crap out of you, don't do it, but it's honestly the only option you have if you wanna have cellular data on your watch, but your mobile provider doesn't allow you to add cellular data because you're the provider you're with, that is the option that you have and you'll have your exclusive own mobile number, data, unlimited data, it's a pretty good deal. However, it could have frustrating implications because any notification you get on your iPhone isn't gonna pop through over to your watch. So now let's show you the setup process basically with the two providers, US Mobile and Better Roaming, and talk to you guys about it, the plan options, and how to really get started. All right, let's Before go. Before we get started by setting up your plan on the computer with US Mobile or Better Roaming, this is what you need to know. First of all, you need to unpair your watch. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. Let's go through and show you the best way. Click on your watch right here, and you can click on, see this little explanation thing? Click on that, scroll right down to the bottom and unpair the watch. That's all you need to do right there, that's it. Then, your second option you need to do is you need to add a watch. You need to set, hit this button right here, set up for a family member. Do that, and then you need to scan the watch. It won't come up because I haven't unpaired it. You need to scan the watch. From there, as I said before, you need to log in with a different Apple account. And then from there, you wanna stop what you're doing and continue on the web browser. Then what you're gonna to need to do is you're going to have to go in and work out what the MEI number is, as you can see mine right here. And also you're gonna to have to work out, depends which provider you're going with. If you're going with US Mobile, you need to remember the MEI number. If you're going to Better Roaming, you need to know what this is, okay? After we've done that, we wanna go on the web browser and set up a plan. Let's show you just how to do that. So we're on the US mobile page right here. I will have the links in the description. However, if they get flagged, I'll have them on the screen as well so you know exactly where to go. So basically with the US mobile, it is a little bit cheaper if you go yearly. Um, and I just wanna to talk to you guys the plan you wanna go with. You don't wanna go off this plan. This plan is if you have your number with US mobile and you wanna share the same number to your watch, that's what that plan's for. You don't wanna be doing that if you don't, not with US Mobile. You wanna do this plan right here, which will give you a unique number, and you'll be able to have data without your iPhone with you. Basically all that great stuff right there. So that are the different options there for US customers. It's a little bit cheaper, because if you go over to Better Mobile, this is gonna be my existing plan that I currently have. And as you see, they've given me a number. This is the number they've given me. Uh, and all that and because I've reset the watch already I have to reinstall this if I set it back up as a family member Okay, so let's actually show you the process with better mobile because it's a very easy process and I'll just quickly show you so we'll just um, clear the page Okay, so the first thing you want to do is click on Apple watch at the top here and as you see, you do get a seven day free trial. However, they do charge you, um, okay? I think they may give it back to you after the pending date. However, you do have to pay upfront. So I'm gonna just show you the plan. So basically we wanna um, start the plan. So we've got a few different options. Now, as I said, this is available in a lot of countries. We have Australia, France, Germany, Poland, Spain, UK, United States. However, if we go to the United States, we're gonna notice the price is a little expensive um, so I do recommend going to US Mobile for that one. Uh, within Australia, this is the only company that is that actually works. There's no company that lets you get a standalone plan in Australia. So this is what you're stuck with, basically, this company right here. Um, so yeah, so basically let's talk about this, how what we do have to do to get started. So first of all, you need to pick what you want to do. Do you want to pay yearly or do you want to pay the month? You do have a seven day trial, so if you have any issues, just cancel the plan and the pending tr uh, transaction on your bank account, if you've canceled, will come back in seven days, you'll get the money back. 
Okay, so for this one, we're just gonna click on the seven day trial, just to give you a bit of an idea how to get started. So we're just gonna show you a simple process and all that great stuff. So right here, it's gonna ask for your, that number I told you about before. You're gonna to need to paste that number in and then after that, you need to confirm the payment, okay? That's literally all you have to do, is make an account. It's the other process they'll ask for is your email and password, enter that in. Then it's gonna ask for the watch EIN, uh, IDN. Make sure you go to about and find that in your watch settings, paste that in there. As soon as you've paid, restart the watch, okay? And then the cellular option should pop up. However, the cellular option will only pop up if the watch is set up as a family plan, a family um, account, okay? You've set it up as a family member. If you haven't, even if you've gone onto your cellular options, it's not gonna pop up if you've got the watch linked to your iPhone and the iPhone account, okay? It has to be set up. I can't stress how much you need to set this up. For this to work, you need to set your watch up as an Apple Watch uh, family member, okay? And then it'll be all good after 10 to 15 minutes, just reboot your watch and it should pop up there. If it doesn't, feel free to contact them, but for me, it popped up for me very quick. So yeah, hopefully this video got kind of helped you guys out. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let us know down below and let us know if you find it helpful. And is this something you're gonna do? If you want cellular data on your watch, are you going to do this method? I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching.